Hello and welcome back. My name is Clough and today we are playing some more Detroit Become Human. This will be the second episode in the series that we are recording. I should have fixed the audio issues that I was having in the last one. So hopefully there should be no echoing, there should be no playback of the audio coming through my microphone because I've stopped it completely from coming through my monitor, which I'm not amazingly certain why it was doing it in the first place, but regardless, I've got it sorted. So I believe we're back with Marcus. Thank you, Alexa. I wish my house could speak to me. Jeez. Deposit package. Also, that is a pretty dope coat, but I doubt I could pull that off. I've got to wake Carl up. Is there anything else I can interact with whilst I'm down here? Or won't it tell me that I can? Something down here. Ooh. Oh yeah, I forgot. Is it an Android boot? Or like clockwork or something? No, oh, it's an Android. Cool, I guess. Cool. A bit strange, but cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right. Anything else I can interact with down here? Now, my main man is uh, an artist, so... Let's see if there's anything we can interact with before we go up to him. I was trying to look if there was any interesting titles on those books there. The way... The way that the light warps on that piano... That is really cool. Like, I know it's such a weird thing to get impressed by, but... This game is very pretty. And, oh, we have a giraffe. <laughs> Yeah, just a casual, you know, just casual draft in your uh, main room there. Um, I'll go up to him. I don't think there's any need to spend any too much more time down here. You can always try the uh, piano. You can reread discovered articles in the extra section. Okay, thank you. So does that count as discovered if I just go over? Yeah, I think that counts as discovered. At least, I hope it does, because I really don't want to read it right now. Anything over here? I mean, this is a... It's a bit busy for my liking, but I mean, it's a great house. I mean, I'm not necessarily going to say I would go for some of the orna ornamental choices he's gone for. I never did this. I didn't know this was a thing. To be honest, I, I can't even remember being able to come into the kitchen, so it's like I missed some a total section that I could have done previously when I played this a long time ago. Take tray to dining table. Can I not just take it to the my owner, who I forget the name of? This is a dining table game. Ple oh, there we go. Pomegranate or something on there? Yeah, right, let's go up to him. I, I forget his name, but I, d I did like this character. Again, he's another actor. I've, I, I've really got to learn their names. Um, I have seen him definitely, like I was saying about Marcus and the other actors. I've definitely seen them uh, in other things, but I, I just can't for the life of me think what. Every sort of creative medium is displayed in this person's house. Can I go over there and through the curtain? How did they get the giraffe in here? Because surely they couldn't get that in in one piece. But, it, I don't know. Anything over here I can interact with? Nah. Right, let's go to uh, let's go to my main man's room over here and uh, see what's up. I'm like his mum. Get up, get out of bed. Oh yeah, he's got loads of tattoos. Good morning, he's got to love a good tattoo. Good morning. 
to 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. <laughs> Like every day. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. <laughs> Thank you. Again, like, it's... Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. It doesn't feed. Uh, yeah, I mean, it could be yeah, programming. I guess you machine. could program something like that if you had advanced enough AI. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey. But it just seems like. What happened to your clothes? Oh, oh. it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. It just seems like there's emotion there. They think there, they can stop progress to by roughing up a few androids. I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Oh. Come on, Carl. Let's do this. What would happen if I dropped him now? <laughs> I would just let go of the buttons and dropped him on the floor. <laughs> I've never even... I don't know if that's actually a thing. I've never actually thought about it as a possibility, but it would sort of ruin the... Uh, sort of, you know, just the, the touching moment that they're, they're having, which, I mean, it's obviously not touching for them. They do it every day, but it's the first time for us, and they... I mean, Carl clearly depends on Marcus, and he clearly cares for him. But he just Marcus to drops him on the way to the bathroom. <laughs> Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm -hmm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Yeah, Carl. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Any news from Leo? I'm getting flashbacks of the gremlins. Like, no. if I already didn't know how this goes, I'd I expect him, him to like. fly no. up that later. No, I don't bother. To take him to the table. I'm starving. Oh. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon, Bacon and eggs, eggs, just oh, the way you like. I'm hungry, just thinking about it. You're Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> Can you imagine if your Andrew started doing shit like that to you? Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Hmm? Okay, Carl. Find something to do. Uh, read book. Oh, so I can actually read a book. What can I read? Shakespeare, Keats, uh, Otis? Never heard. Plato? Ah, I won't read a book. That's a bit too intellectual for me. I know Shakespeare. I know Plato. Television. Uh, you know, I know of them. Other than that. Mankind is so depressing. Not great. Nothing but greed, stupidity, and violence. Ooh. 5,000. No, don't stop, Carl. Me, I'm listening. Uh, I think they're all, if I remember rightly, they're all like different variations on the main theme. But let's try intimate. I 
I'm not sure which buttons exactly I'm meant to be pressing or what tune I'm meant to be going to, but this is clearly a rendition of the main theme. Which I must admit, I am a huge fan of. I actually forgot how good the main theme was. Okay, that's enough. Come on, then. Go on, then, Kyle. What are we, what's, what are we up to next? Something has changed in the way you play. Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most humans. Look at the detail on his face. That is crazy I won't be good. Here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. And I love the, the sort of father-son relationship that they have. It's actually quite... I don't know, I, I'm a very emotional person, so it, it, do, it, it does make me quite emotional when you see things like that, the clear love that they share for each other. And you could argue that Marcus is an android at this stage of the game. He doesn't, you know, he, he can't physically love Carl, but he, he clearly invests a lot of his emotional energy into Marcus, and Marcus reciprocates, so... I mean, to me, they're, they're a, it's a valid relationship. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. Come on then, Carl, let's get the sheet gun. I like that everything else in the house is automated, yet that, that one sheet is <laughs> the only thing that's not automated in the entire house. <laughs> so clean the studio. Let's uh, see what we can do to clean. Nothing over there, really. Okay, something's over here. Clean. You're an android, mate. You don't sleep. This should have been done yesterday, Marcus. God, slacking on your chores. Anything else? Oh, I thought I'd already got the thing that was there. Obviously not. What are those other packages meant to be? They're a bit strange. Uh, over here, okay. Also, this is one absolutely amazing house that I wish I even had a half of. Jesus Christ, it's good. Imagine having a room that had entirely blacked out windows. And it was just automatic. It just all opened up into this amazing vista. I'm not sure if I finished cleaning, you know, Carl. You could have left it for a second. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? Ah, uh, like it. Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. And of course, this is where the meme comes from. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> And then let's see what we can do. Fine.
find a subject to paint. Paint statue, paint desk. So he's looking for something to paint. Like one for one from the environment. Let's paint the head. Or the statue, sorry. That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't very thoughtful. think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. You don't need them anyway, Trust mate. Me. <laughs> Close them, Marcus. Close them. You Try to imagine something holes. that doesn't exist. Something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel. And let your hand drift across the canvas. And again, I think this is such... I quite like identity. That sounds pretty dope. Doubts, prisoner, despair. Doubt? Uh, mm, doubts, yeah. I don't know, like, it's, it's just such a fantastic way of trying to visually show the complexities of, of well, life and how even though we created these androids, they're that advanced and they can clearly feel emotion at some point you know when they become a deviant that how can you possibly say that they are not alive I mean I'm, I'm too dumb to make any meaningful comments on that sort of thing but it's just oh my God. it's just really fantastic for a game to do something like this and who have we got here Hey, Dad. Leo. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. For a while, right? <laughs> yeah, I was in the neighborhood. Yeah. You all right? Jeez. You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen. Uh, you don't look fine. I need some cash, Dad. Why? Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well... It just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah, it just goes. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. What do you mean, what difference does it make? Sorry. It's every distant difference. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's what's it got that I don't? Smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. Yeah, I know what you're just trying to find. It's a fucking machine. You're trying to find excuses Leo, that's enough. to blame your enough. father rather than yourself. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Yeah, whatever. Emotionally manipulative piece of shit. Come on, Carl, it's okay. Okay, and that brings us to the end of that uh, mission there. So, there was a few things that I could have done. Um, that I missed. Again, these early ones are quite linear because they're just obviously setting the scene and, and you know, getting everything established. I am sorry if I'm a bit louder all of a sudden. I've decided to move my microphone a bit closer. I did move it away because I I just thought that you might not pick up some of the annoying things that can sometimes be picked up. Like when I 
you know, <laughs> when I breathe out, when I swallow, when I do things like that, which doesn't sound very flattering on a recording, especially when it's just of my voice like now. <laughs> so um, I, I thought maybe moving it away would be okay. But I, I think from looking into the recording of the last episode that um, there's parts where you can't really hear me because I I come through quite quietly because I'm not close to my microphone. So, let's carry on. And here we've got Connor again. I don't really know about the coin. I never really thought about that. I'm not sure if that comes up again or whether it's just something like a... I don't know. I was going to call it like a stress ball, but he's an android. <laughs> Yeah, we don't care. No one's just allowed. Whatever. Oof. Lieutenant Anderson. Scan. No face detected. No face detected. How about that man? Edward Dempsey. No criminal meta record. Administrator? How about you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, we just caught him at the wrong time, I think, with their scan, jeez. <laughs> Criminal record, none. That's what we like to see. DUI, Christopher Gray. Derek Myers, no criminal record. How about this guy right here that is 100% Hank? There we go. Looks nothing like him in that picture, but here we have Lieutenant Anderson. Oh, Mr. Anderson. Um, Lieutenant Anderson. It was played my by name Clancy Carl. Brown. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. No, no, I no need for that. Uh, understanding. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Ooh, jeez. Can I reason Listen, with him? I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. They can never quite get water right in uh, when people drink it in games, can they? Um, I'm gonna buy him another drink. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. See that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. I'm not sure whether that was the right move or not, but I was hoping that he would comply if I did. Which, it seems like he has, so... <sighs> that may have been a good move. Hopefully it doesn't perish to him too much. <laughs> did you say homicide? I did. What are people expecting? <laughs> what are people expecting to see, like, wait here. <laughs> on the outside of a crime scene like that? Uh, My instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. I told you to wait here, so you shut the fuck up and you wait here. Selecting priority. <laughs> it's quite interesting. Of course, we've got to follow him. Josh Douglas from Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Have they said anything? Typical DPD. They don't tell us shit. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. Oh. So he's not. He told me to wait, but he's okay with me what coming. Let's go. The car, didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. 
Even oh. Hank. I, I, we were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was Lord. the plan until this asshole found me. Their relationship so, in this game. It's so good. Android, it's one of the best parts of the game. Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We're gonna call around eight. No, it's not here. Maybe can, I can inspect before we go in. From the landlord, oh. the tenant had. So he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. Jesus, that smell it was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. Listen to briefing, review the evidence. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the like time this. they hardly Jeez. ever saw. Red ice. Well, I'll stay these in. Calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. Jesus, There's three a weeks. kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. Dried blood, Mr. Ortiz. What do we know about his android? Not much. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt the briefing by doing this. I'm just trying to keep things moving by investigating the evidence whilst it's going on. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. You didn't call Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. So we have uh, completed the briefing. Anything in here? What is that on the left? What was that? I have no clue. Can we speak to Hank, maybe? I'll leave the body for a sec. I'm going to see if I can speak to Hank. No, I can't. Let's go to the kitchen. Why is there a... Uh, oh. There he is again, Mr. Ortiz's blood. Ooh, Android sex officially better. I mean, it makes a little bit of sense, because I guess you can sort of... You can't... I'm, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna get into that. Actually, that's uh, a bit too weird to be discussing on a YouTube video. <laughs> so that's where you got the murder weapon from. Okay, okay. Each letter is perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights like this. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. What we got here? A dent. Dent. Violent impacts. Traces of Ethereum. Oh, so was that used on the android? Oh no. Yeah, okay, yeah, of course it was. Yeah, if it was has Mr. Ortiz's uh, fingerprints on it, of course it would have been. Ah, so it's over there. Deviant took a knife. Let's go forward. So he hits him. Deviant was attacked. Emotional shock. Is that it? Nothing else to find? So that's when he took the knife, okay. Taking samples for analysis. I'll examine the victim in a second. Leave me alone, man. Uh, the chair, the door, I guess. Oh, and the wall, yeah, I see that over there. Seems our friend Carlos liked the party. I mean, I would say so too, Connor. Sign, definite signs of a struggle. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. I'm part of CSI Detroit, you see. Consider it I, done, Lieutenant. Can I... Is there anything out here? Ah, oh, so it's the police's shoe print. The door was locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. 
There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No, this type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Even didn't escape this way. Okay, good to know. Oh, sorry about the steam message there. Hey, Mike, you finished taking samples there? Yeah, that's it. Anything else we can look at? Come on now, I'm not normally this popular. Let's, in my, uh, let's examine the body. Ooh, what a disgusting crime scene. 28 stab wounds. Acetone, lithium, therium, so it's red eyes, yeah, okay. So he was high when he uh, attacked the android. He's only 5'6". I'd say only, that's about average height, I guess. Anything else here? Oh, and his hand, yes, of course. I mean, yes, that is Mr. Ortiz. I can confirm. Just going to show the... Victim fell here. Oh, not very nice. They came from the kitchen, indeed. Oh, it's not a great thing to see right at the end. He was there. stabbed 28 times. Yeah, seems like the killer really had it in for him. He is right, it is too perfect, it doesn't seem like handwriting. Cyberlife Sans. <laughs> Excuse me, I was there. Can I talk to Hank? Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started in the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android uh, with the bat. With the Sorry, bat. I wasn't there for a second there. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. The android stabbed the victim. The victim stabbed the android. The android, the android the stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? At first, yeah. The victim fled to the living room. The living room. Surprisingly, all B. <laughs> to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim... with the knife. With the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. Mm. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh. Well, let me guess. But I bet you can still see it, can't hey. you? Hey. Correct. Yeah. Search for some blue blood traces, eh? Oh, there we go. Uh, again, I've said it before, but the score really, really fits this game so well. Like, it, it feels like it's naturally ramping up. Let's 
So there was a ladder here. Oh yeah, I forgot the, the bathroom. Oh, I didn't want to go that far. Oh, okay, I didn't do that in the bathroom. That's okay. I love it how he was so convinced it was down there. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Let's go into the bathroom now. I, I think there is something in here, if I remember rightly. Ooh, it's like a shrine. Okay, uh, well, I'm almost certain he's in the attic, so... Can we grab this chair? Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Why would you say that, Connor? Just, just say, I'm check going to check the attic. Oh, that's a little bit creepy. Why would you keep that in your attic? Like, never mind in your ha In fact, never mind in your attic. What about, why would you keep that in your house? Why would you keep that? Anywhere. A little flabby mannequin or something. Oh, there he is, boys. Can't hide. I literally just saw you. <laughs> the attic is only so big. I was just defending myself. Yeah, but he got a bit. He was gonna kill me. He got a bit further than that, didn't he? When you stabbed him twenty-eight times. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Oh, shit. Chris! Ben! Get your asses in here now! Come on! Again, like, the emotion they express just in their face, it's so well done. And that brings us to the end of that chapter, and apparently... Oh, no, did I get a lot? Oh, okay, there was a lot that I did miss, but... Looks like I did end up with getting... So what else did I miss there that would have led me down this path? Like, just not checking the attic, I guess? Maybe? I don't know. Anyway, that does bring us to a good spot to bring this episode to a close. So uh, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Thank you all for tuning in. And if you did enjoy this, then please subscribe. Hit that like button below. It does help the visibility of the video within the algorithm. So it would help me out greatly. And also, please don't hesitate to leave any comments down below. I'll be trying to read through and reply to as many as I possibly can. Um, if I can. So um, I appreciate each and every person that does watch this. Uh, I don't expect many people to watch it. But everybody that does, of course, is, uh, you know. It's, it's just something that I'm wanting to do, so, and it's uh, something that I appreciate greatly, and I'm rambling way too much, so um, thank you all, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.